Hey, welcome to the next video of HTL Bit series. So the next problem in the Verilog language basics is the AND gate. So let's look at AND gates. First, uh, the problem. Uh, so basically, you've got two inputs. Um, you have to create an AND gate from the inputs to the output. All right, so let's talk about what is an AND gate. Right, so an AND gate is another gate. Uh, the NOT gate in the previous video has a single input. The AND gate has two inputs, and it's going to the output depends on both inputs. So this is the symbol for an AND gate, and it has two inputs, uh, which we can call maybe like A and B. And we're going to draw another truth table. Well, let's label these with uh, A and B. This is A, and this is B, and uh, let's call this out. All right, so here's our AND gate. We've got two inputs, which we're calling A and B. I mean, you can give them any name you want, and we've got an output called output. All right, then we're going to draw a truth table showing the input values and what is the output corresponding to those values. So we've got A and B and out. All right, then what are the possible values for A and B? We can have A is 0 and B is 0. We can have A is 1 and B is still 0. We can have A is 0 and B is 1, and they can both be 1. So these are the these are all of the possible input values for A and B. Right now, what is out for an AND gate? So an AND gate is a 1 if A and B are both 1. Otherwise, it's 0. It's out is 1 if A and B are both 1. All right, so here A is 0 and B is 0. So since they're both 0, it's 0. Here A is 1, but B is 0. Since B is not 1, then it's 0. Here A is 0, B is 1. Since A is not 1, so it's zero, and here both A and B are one, so the output is one. All right, so that's an AND gate. And then how do we write an AND gate in Verilog? Well, you, we use uh, this symbol. All right, so we're gonna write, for example, assign, assign out equal A and B. Let's just make this like this. Assign out equal A, and this is the symbol for an AND gate in Verilog. Cool. All right. I think that you have enough information to go away and do this problem. So basically, you've got two inputs, A and B, funnily enough, and an output called out. Uh, basically, you're going to have to make out, B, A, and B. Right. So then let's put up the, the pause slide, and I'll see you after the pause. All right, so I'm going to assume that you've attempted the problem now. Um, uh, if you haven't, that's fine. And now let's look at solving the problem. So very simply, actually exactly like we had here, we're simply going to do output equal A and B. So assign out equal A and B. So A and B are the drivers, and then the result of A and B is going into the uh, sync out. Uh, let's submit that just to check. All right, it succeeded. And let's have a look here. So we've got A starts off as zero, and then it changes to one, then back to zero, and then back to one. And B also, it starts with zero, back to one, but like it changes at a different time than A. In fact, B changes twice as often as A. So B goes zero and one while A stays one, and then zero and one while A stays zero, and so on and so forth. And you can see that out is only one, when both A and B are both one. So that's it. All right, so that's and get problem. All right, so if you've got any questions, please put those into the comments. If you've got any comments or suggestions, also into the comments. Uh, if you liked the video, please click like, uh, and please consider clicking on subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, hopefully.